Hi, my name is Dr. Cha. I'm the medical director at San Joaquin Rehabilitation Hospital in Fresno. As a rehab doctor, my goal is always getting my patient back to better. And we do this through a process called the rehab process. Now, in the outpatient, it's a little bit different because the patient's not as sick or uh, as critically ill. But in an inpatient, what we call at San Joaquin Rehabilitation, most of our patients here are very sick. So we do this as a team, as a, what we call an interdisciplinary team in which it consists of the clinical staff, which the doctors and the nurses and the rehabilitation, uh, the therapy staff, which consists of the TTOT speech therapist. And we work with other disciplines such as social workers, case managers, we all work together. Because our patients are so sick, some of these patients that we have are either after a stroke, after a spinal cord injury, multi-trauma such as an, a motor vehicle accident. And in times like this, we do have COVID patient who has been successfully treated, but now they have a lot of impairment as a sequelae from the disease. And we take you through what we call the rehab uh, process, which comes in stages. Usually when the patient arrives here in the hospital, it is a lot, a lot of it is medical. And whereas the medical doctor, I'll try to stabilize the patient. Now, there's a huge difference between the medical patient and the rehab patient. As you can see, as a rehab patient, it's the same person, but the patient, uh, we expect differently from the rehab patient because they have to walk, get out of bed. It means that their heart rate's gonna go up and sometimes their blood pressure will either go down or up or their pain will increase. And we try to manage that in the first process and where it's called medical stabilization, we try to do this within the first two to three days. Then it's up to the therapy staff to range of motion them, strengthen them. And finally, the team cons come back on the fourth stage and where we call it uh, awareness of deficit. It means that we, the patient now can walk far enough to fall and we have to assure, educate the patient from an uh, interdisciplinary team to keep the patient from falling or what we call safety awareness. And then finally, the patient returns to normal activities at stage five, in which we discharge the patient home. In Fresno, there are two uh, facilities that does this. Us here on the north side of Fresno, San Joaquin Rehabilitation Hospital, and uh, downtown at Leonis Peters. Now, I hope that you'll never need our service, but should you do, we are happily here. We're able, ready, and willing to guide you to back to better again. Thank you.